our first guest from Modern Family now. He is the author of a brand new cookbook called Food Between Friends. Please welcome Jesse Tyler Ferguson. Hi. Hi, Colin. You, I know it's, 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 it's really nice having a live audience there, but you are just as funny and clever and effervescent without them. So like, you're doing an amazing job. I was laughing at home. Thank you so much, Jesse. That's so sweet. Um, first of all, I want to compliment you on your pretty kitchen. That's a very pretty kitchen you're in. Yeah. Is it? Is it yeah. a little on the nose that I'm doing this from a kitchen talking about a cookbook? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's smart. It's smart. Brings it right back. If we stray from the, the conversation, it goes right back to the kitchen. No. Yeah. But first, before we get to that, uh, you haven't, uh, I haven't seen you since you became a dad. And you have, uh, Beckett, is that his name? Yeah. How old is he? Yeah, uh, he is uh, eight months old uh, as of yesterday. Come, Come on. on. <laughs> how is he? How is it? How is it being a dad? And what's he like? I mean, it's his. We're still figuring out his personality. This is the funny thing about kids that they, they don't tell you. Like, it's a new person in your life, and just like anyone else, new that comes into your life, it's like you got to figure out if you like them. Like, it takes a little bit of time. Yeah. No, I really do. I really do like him. He's a really sweet boy. Um, and it's been a lot of fun. I've been wanting to become a dad for a long time, and I was sort of waiting for Justin's timeline. He's 10 years younger than me, so it's like, you let me know when you're ready, but like, I'm ready yesterday, so. Yeah, well, the younger the better, I think, because that's uh, the, then you're gonna start running after him soon. So you're singing to him. Does he enjoy the singing, and what are you singing to him? It's, it's a lot of show tunes, because that's what I like. So, um, you know, we're raising him gay until he decides he's straight. Okay. Um, <laughs> And <laughs> uh, on, the, on the way back from the hospital, um, we played Britney Spears, because that was what Justin demanded to listen to. That was his first exposure to music. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of singing. I'm I, you know, writing a lot of songs for him. You know, everything has a song. You know, I got a poop poo in my dip dip in my daddy fishing. I mean, you can make a song about anything. Wow. Well, that's a catchy one. Um... <laughs> So, so you're raising him gay until he says he's straight, but you'll love him just the same if he is straight, right? Absolutely. You know, you know actually, Justin and I were saying, he's absolutely going to be, I could just probably be, like, such a straight kid. Yeah. Who knows? I'm, I'm going to do whatever he wants. But, like, I'm like, I just have a feeling you're going like, to want to play football. I could just tell. And I'm, I'm going to have to learn how to do all those things with that. Right. I, well, if, if there is a God, yes, because it would be wonderful to see you trying to do that with him. Um, so you're reading to him also. Does he have a favorite book? Um, well, we like some of the classics. Like, we have about eight, eight copies of The Hungry, Hungry Caterpillar. Um, but what the, the, one of the new books that I found that I really love is a, is a book called um, the, the Hips on the Drag Queen Go Swish, Swish, Swish. <laughs> you joined swish, TikTok. Swish, swish. Here, swish, oh. Swish, swish, swish. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I didn't, I, I, I didn't know that book, but that's a catchy one. That's a, I like that tune better. And you, you, you joined TikTok, and here's one that you posted recently. Go. Do what? Do it. Do what? Make a TikTok. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what, I, that's, that's impossible. Just throw your hands up. TikTok. <laughs> That's how you do it. It's just that easy. Are you, I, are you on TikTok? I don't fully understand what it is. Justin signed me up for it, and so he has access to my account. I, I don't even have it on my phone, so he'll just record me and then like put it online, and then like we'll be in bed that night. He'll be like, he's like, oh, you went viral today. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're on TikTok. It's you have to be. It's it's a uh, when you're in show business, it's mandatory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we cannot not be on TikTok. The last time you were here was two weeks before the lockdown, and you had just been on stage with Taylor Swift, um, which must have been amazing. You, have you kept in touch? Yeah. She um, she was so sweet. She actually sent baby clothes to us. Um, she couldn't make it to the baby shower, which we knew she wouldn't come, but like we invited her. And uh, she sent um, a, a big care package and it's like the nicest baby clothes I, I've ever seen. They're like, you know, cashmere jumpsuits. And um, he is actually, Beckett is actually 
a little too big for them, but we're like determined to get a few more wares out of them because they're so nice. So we're just <laughs> stuffing his little sausage legs into them and he's like bursting out of them. But I was like, but this is what Taylor Swift got you. So you're just gonna have to learn how to enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe she'll see this and send some larger sizes. <laughs> So are you still, it's been a year, which I can't believe it's been a year since family, uh, Modern Family ended. You must miss everybody because that's such a wonderful family routine that you were in. Yeah, no, I mean, it was, it was very sad to say goodbye to everyone. Um, and then shortly after that, you know, we, we all went to the lockdown. So we really couldn't even see each other if we wanted to. Um, but uh, about four months into the lockdown, Ed O'Neill was actually in, in Hawaii. Uh, and he he butt dialed me on FaceTime. So he picked up his phone. He was, was sort of surprised by to see my face on his phone. He's like, Jesse, did, did you call me? I was like, No, I think I think you butt dialed me. He's like, I didn't mean to do that. How are you? And then we ended up having like a, a thirty minute conversation and catching up. But he didn't mean to call me. Well, but it was meant to be to butt dial you. So this is I'm excited about this. If this is real. I, I heard there might be a Mitch and Cam spinoff. And if the, first of all, that has to happen. That's a great show. I mean, yeah, I, I think it would be great. I, I, I don't know anything official. Um, uh, but yeah, I think people would love it. But yeah. who knows? I mean, I, the thing is, after doing something for 11 years and ending on such a high note, it's like, you know, do you want to go back and, and run the risk of, you know, maybe not doing such a good job? Oh, so. the two of you together, there's no way that could go wrong. That's a great idea all day long. Please do that. <laughs> all right, we're going to take a break. I just noticed that you're in your kitchen, so we should talk about your, your cookbook. All right, we'll be back uh, and talk about uh, the, the cookbook with Jesse. We'll be back. Are you in your kitchen? <laughs> well, you should ask. I sure am. Yeah. Look at that. And you have a cookbook. Tell everybody about your cookbook, Jesse. Well, since I'm in my kitchen, I may as well. Um, it is a book I've been working on for about two years with my very good friend, Julie Tanis. Uh, I'm, I'm from New Mexico. She's from Alabama. So it's a lot of the recipes that we grew up eating um, back home. And uh, it's, it's just been so much fun to work on it. Um, it's been a uh, certainly a labor of love. I never thought I'd be a published author. So this has been very exciting for me. And we're really proud of it. You should be. There's some lo good looking dishes in here, too. Really yeah, good. No. Now, uh, you, have you, did you test these in quarantine or, or and did Justin eat these? Justin, uh, you know, he, he got to eat a lot of like really delicious things I made, but he also had to deal with the failures. Um, there was one dish that I made that was just awful and it obviously did not make it into the book, but Justin took a bite of it and the adjective he had for it was, hmm, slippery. <laughs> Not, not an adjective you want for food, really. No. 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 Mm -mm. I, I want to, before we go, I want to have time to talk about this. Um, because you, your documentary uh, that you produced called Welcome to Chechnya, um, it's on the short list for two Oscars. So uh, what, a, what a congratulations. Um, and tell everybody about this, because I think this is really important. Yeah, it's it's basically about uh, it's it's about the gay purge in Chechnya that a lot of people don't know about. They're they're uh, the government's seeking out um, members of the LGBTQ community and and persecuting them and and, and killing them, um, and encouraging their families to disown them and 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 turn them in. And it's it's a, obviously a very tragic situation, and just so many people don't know about it. So it's been very very exciting to be a part of it, and I'm just so happy and so proud of the film. You should be, and I'm proud of you for doing that because that's that's really important. Good for you, um, and and also you have a cookbook out. It's called Food Between <laughs> Friends. It's available today, Jesse. Uh, I, I really want that uh, spinoff to happen. It should happen because y'all are hilarious together. Congratulations on this. Congratulations on the baby, and uh, and the film. And hope to see you soon in the studio.